everyone, Leslie here from Team Filofax, doing a quick video on my new holiday Filofax um, holiday planner setup. Um, I had ordered from the um, Filofax USA website this red patent um, Filofax. I could have, um, I have a million Filofax, so I could have used one of those, but I just thought this red one was so cute and so for the cheery for the holiday, so I said, why not? Um, I actually really like it. It's very um, soft. I like the way the patent feels. Um, you can't really tell, but it's a beautiful, like, true red, like a lipstick red, fire engine red, and I really, really like it. Um, it does have on the side the typical uh, F for the file facts. I don't know if you can see it with the glare. And just a regular back. Very similar setup to the um, Safiano. If anybody has the Safiano. The front, when you open it up, it does have like the secretary pocket. It's not a full pocket. And it has two card slots. But these card slots, if you could see, I mean, you can really stretch these out and fit a lot of stuff in there. And I have, t uh, it has a one elasticated pen loop, a red one. And you can see I was so happy it was elastic because I could fit my um, friction pen in there. Um, it came with a top opening envelope, which I'm probably going to switch this out um, and use this for um, like all my holiday shopping as my wallet. So I'm planning on using this top opening envelope to carry all my um coupons, store cards, and all that type of stuff in here. Then next, it came with a fly leaf. So I haven't really decorated that yet. And then what I did was I created my own um, dividers um, using, it was the um, American Crafts Peppermint Express 6x6 paper pad. And I saw this, I thought the, the sheets were so cute, the designs. And being a six by six pad, everything was scaled down perfectly for the pocket size. And what I did was I made the tabs. I just traced on the pad um, the dividers that came with the file facts. I just traced them out. And this was the, um, you know, the typical one through six, um, the aqua and the purpley blue uh, dividers that come with the file faxes. I have a section for diary, and what I did was just used my um, P-Touch labeler to label all the tabs. I have diary, shopping, activities, baking, December daily, and cards. And these are going to be my six um, sections that I'm going to do for my diary. What I decided to do was I took, I had it... Um, an insert for the one week on a page, one week per page with notes. And I started, I'm only carrying November and December. And then I haven't decorated the beginning of November, but the week of Thanksgiving, I started. And then I have all using various washi tapes. I have some doodle bug washi tapes. And, um, uh, what was that October afternoon from last year washi tapes and I go all the way to the end of 2013 and what I'm hoping to do is to when I set this up next year I can just take the net uh, you know November December 2014 and stick that insert in here as well and that'll just carry um, the reason why I figured this layout would be good is I could just put appointments that my kids have or games. So I basically have my schedule with me at all times if I end up using this as my wallet. Um, shopping, I just used a strip of washi at the top. Christmas 2013. It's my shopping list. I have a list of supplies, um, what I need. And as I get them, I just um, highlight them with a green highlighter. Any online orders and my food shopping list, which is basically like things I need as I gather my recipes. I'm going to write down what I need to get and then some extra things. I also included in my shopping section my uh, the Filofax finance sheets because I'm going to try and set up my um, holiday budget and I'll be able to keep track of that in my shopping section. 
My next tab was activities. And these are just, I have the to-do sheets, some things that we'd like to do. Um, we usually go into, I live on Long Island, so we're very close, I'm about an hour, 45 minutes, an hour out of New York City, Manhattan. And um, we usually drive in one night and go to Rockefeller Center to see the Christmas tree. And uh, we take my daughter to American Girl. My boys go to the NBA store, the Lego store. So we make a night of it one night um, during December. Uh, we want to try and go to see the uh, Radio City Music Spectacular, the Christmas Spectacular. You know, just things that we like to do throughout the month. Uh, we go driving around looking at houses that are all decorated. So this is going to be a list of things that we like to do. And then I included some blank sheets in there as well. Now the next section, sorry, is my baking section cute little peppermints and this I'm just going to include recipes make a list of um, like Thanksgiving dinner I'm going to include in here um, I have Thanksgiving at my house so what I'm going to make what I'm going to bake for Thanksgiving do the same I do Christmas Eve and I might be having Christmas Day this year so try and organize you know what we're going to be making and try and get that food shopping list off of these pages also any recipes that I cook um you know, cookies that I do each year. Um, I'm going to include them in this section as well. So this way, going forward, like I said, I'm going to use this for each year now, and I'll have all my recipes already listed in here. Now, December Daily. This is, I think, my third year of doing a December Daily. Um, anybody who's a scrapbooker or a Project Life um I ordered the, um, well, I didn't order the Studio Calico, but uh, the Studio Calico, they come with a December Daily kit. I just have a 6x8 album. I think it's the Snap album. And I painted it white with the red border uh, binding. And I'm just going to copy, basically, and make my own as I go along. I have a ton of um, December, you know, Christmas themed papers and stuff so I'm just going to use that now what I plan on doing here is having a page per day and then jotting down what pictures I took you know and having a layout I do plan my project life that way and I know sometimes December gets a little hectic so if I can kind of keep it organized here I can then after the fact if I can't get to it like day by day I can after the fact catch up if I have it jotted down and listed in here. Now the next section, last section I have is my cards, who I'm gonna be sending out my Christmas cards to, my list, and then I also included in here contact sheets. Um, with my personal binder, I don't include all my contacts. Um, in there, I just have a me, you know, most important that I carry around because I do have a large my husband has a very large family and um, it's a lot to carry around so I'm gonna keep all the people that I send cards to their addresses in here so once again next year it's gonna be simple I just will have everything in here now I have another um, top opening envelope don't know what I'm gonna do with that yet and this is the back it just comes with an open pocket which you can put a um, just slip a notepad in there which I have to get another notepad I'll just slip it in it's very flexible but it is open on the bottom so you really can't put anything important in there so this is the beginning of my holiday binder like I said I just set it up today just um, basically some information I want to include, something that I'm going to use, I'm planning on using from year to year to keep organized, and something cute, little red, decorative, and hopefully this is something that, you know, even when I get older, my kids will be able to refer to. All right, so I hope everybody had a great weekend, and I hope you all have a great night. Talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.